Are you having trouble deciphering between all the different types of PLA out there? Well, in today's video, we'll take a look at four popular types of PLA from Inland Filament. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Andy here with Inland Filament back in the Maker Lab at Micro Center. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Inland Filament PLA, PLA Plus, PLA Pro, and Tough PLA. These generally are great PLAs to get started with due to their low odor and low warping. So to help make sure you're choosing the right PLA for your next project, let's take a deeper dive and look at some of the different characteristics of these filaments. For the comparison in today's video, we did two basic prints, including a Benchy, and a vase. While there were some variables, for the most part we didn't do anything special. We ran these prints on an Ender 3 and an Ender 3 S1, and generally we kept the bed at 55 degrees Celsius and the hot end between 205 and 212 degrees Celsius. While we'd love to give you a specific temperature for each of these filaments, it's really going to depend on your machine, your bed, and your hot end. Alright, let's jump in and take a look at PLA first. Inland's PLA is our entry-level product offering for the PLA family and can be found in over 30 different colors. Our PLA is popular due to its price, easy printing, low warping, and low odor. While it's a great material to start, keep in mind that it's not ideal for applications that require the part to exist in higher temperatures. It generally has a glossy finish and can, with appropriate infill and wall counts, be used in some low-stress production parts. Next on the list is Inland Filaments PLA Plus. This upgraded version of PLA has been modified to improve its strength and durability. Polymer additives help improve its mechanical properties, making PLA Plus stronger and less brittle than regular PLA. This makes PLA Plus suitable for applications that require higher strength and durability. We carry our PLA Plus in around 50 color variations and are constantly looking for new popular colors. Inland's PLA Pro is another variation of PLA, which has been modified to provide even higher impact strength. PLA Pro's impact strength matches that of normal ABS, all while maintaining the low warping and low odor characteristics of normal PLA. This combination of stiffness and rigidity makes PLA Pro a great option for projects that need to withstand additional use and abuse. Because this is a more specialized variation, it doesn't sport as many colors as the previous two, but does come in over 10 different color options. Inland's Tough PLA is similar to our previously mentioned PLA Pro, but with a much wider variety of colors. Tough PLA has increased impact resistance, improved rigidity, and overall toughness. Tough PLA also prints slightly more matte than the last three PLAs, so if you're looking for a finish that is not as glossy, Tough PLA could be your best bet. Tough PLA also features great layer adhesion, similar to the other PLAs, making sure your part stays structurally sound while not delaminating. Let's take one last look at all four side by side. All right, we hope this was helpful, and we hope that you can see why PLA filament is one of the most popular for getting started with 3D printing. Make sure to leave a comment down below with your favorite type of PLA, and any projects that you've been working on recently in 3D printing. As always, make sure to follow Inland Filament and Micro Center over on social media, and we'll see you next time in the Maker Lab at Micro Center with Inland Filament.